Council of Royal today, I just yeah. want to say that it is a pleasure and an honor to serve in this capacity. I thank God for Prophetess Nina for allowing me to fill in her spot this morning. Amen. 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 I thank God for Apostle Taylor for thought and not robbery to be here on this morning. Amen. Okay. Um, Y'all just let go and let God, okay? Well, the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. Amen. And I'm going to tell you, I feel just as free, free as I can be, okay? Amen. So, you guys just work with me this morning, amen, amen, as we go into the Word. And I just, again, want to thank and praise God. Amen. 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 And the subject this morning is spiritual warfare of the mind. Amen. Amen. And today we know and we understand that each and every day is warfare. Um, whenever you are serving the Lord, there is always going to be something that's going to try to come against you to hinder or against the spirit of the Lord dwelling in you to hinder what God has for you. Amen. Amen. I don't care if it's an attitude at McDonald's. I don't care if the car won't start in the morning. I don't care what it is. It's always something. Amen. Amen. But in the book of James, he said to count it all joy when trials and tribulations come, right? Amen. Knowing that the trying of your faith work what? Patience. So whenever you're going through whatever it is you're going through, as long as you go through it with a good attitude, Amen. everything's going to be all right. That car won't start, you go in the house, you get that jump box, you put it on there, you crank it up and act like ain't nothing happened. Amen. 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 You go to that drive through at McDonald's to get your coffee, somebody got an attitude, you just tell them, you know what, you have a blessed day. Amen. 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 Because we have the power as Christians to turn our day around through the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Amen. It's up to you how you're going to approach your day. Amen. Amen. If you're going to let something ruin your day and attitude, you call it, okay, you go right on ahead. Amen. Amen. But I promise you, if you take things in a different attitude, everything's going to be all right for you. Amen. Amen. And this Christian journey, it, it'll get hard, but the Lord always makes sense of things. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you for this day and this hour. Lord God, we thank you for an opportunity to be in your service, Lord, one more time. Father, we thank you for all those that have gathered here today. And we just thank you right now for your spirit and your presence, oh God. Lord, let me decrease that you might increase within me, oh Lord. Let them not hear me, but hear you, Lord, and what the spirit of the Lord has to say to the church on this morning. Father, we thank you for the man and woman of God of this house on today. And, Lord, we ask that you bless them, Lord, abundantly, God, in the name of Jesus and what they stand in need of on this morning. Father, these things we ask in your name, we say thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may be seated on this morning. Amen. All right. If we could turn our Bibles to Romans chapter 8. And we're going to start with verse 7. And you just let me know when you get there. Amen. We're going to take our time and we'll walk it out, okay? All right. All right. All right. Romans, what? Romans 8 and 7. We're going to start with 7 and then we'll end with... Well, we'll go on to 11. 7 through 11. It says, but the carnal mind is an enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please God. But if ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be that the spirit of God dwell in you, not if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, and the spirit is life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by the spirit that dwelleth in you. So I want to kind of touch bases on this this morning because this is going to be the foundation of what we're talking about. Um, I know that our 
title is Spiritual Warfare of the Mind, and, and this will all work together in just a little bit, okay? Amen. So, because the carnal mind is always against God, okay? You know how those thoughts rise up, and you know they're not of God. You're warring with it, amen. You're trying to make it right, even though it's wrong, amen. Come on. Then your head starts hurting, amen. <laughs> because there's trying, there's a spirit that's trying to infiltrate that is not like God, amen. Right. So y'all had those headaches, right, right? Right. You go into places you know you probably shouldn't be, but you're gonna go on anyway. And all what's going on around you, amen, your spirit is not in agreement with it. Right. So it's fighting and warring. And by the time you get out of there, you look like you've been beat up, amen. amen. Your clothes are hanging off, your head's hurting, hallelujah. <laughs> you look like you've been in a natural fight. Yeah. But the fight is not natural. Right. It's spiritual. Right. Well, we wrestle what? Not it against flesh and blood. blood. But against what? Principalities. Power and principalities. What? Spiritual wickedness. What? In high places, right? Amen. Yeah, I'm just right. paraphrasing, but that's what it says. Amen. That's right. And so that is what we do on a daily basis, you know, as Christians. Mm -hmm. Our mind is a very important part of our Christian walk. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you change your mind, you change your situation. Mm -hmm. When you change your mind, you change everything, right? That's right. Because if I get into something and if my mind ain't changed about the situation, then I'm still thinking the same thing. Wow. So you can change friends, you can change spouses, you can change jobs, you can change whatever. But if your mind has not changed, you're still going to be going through the same right. things that you've been going through. That's right. Because it was never about what was around you, it was all about what was inside you. <laughs> all right now, come on, come on. All right. All right. Four. Wee. It's not subject to the law of God. So when we're carnal minded, it's not even subject. Mm -hmm. Somebody talking about loving, you talking about paying somebody back. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's not what? Subject. We know to, we can't repay evil for evil, but we have to overcome evil with what? Good. Good. Amen. Is that difficult? I'm going to let you be the judge. It just depends on what situation you're in. Amen. Right, right. But it's not too difficult with God. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. It says in verse 8, so then they that are in the flesh can't do what? Please God. We can't please God. So if our minds don't change in our Christian walk, then we're not pleasing God. Amen. Amen. And that's our whole part of being a what? A Christian. All right. Because we want to do what? Please, Please God. God. Because ultimately this race that we're running, the reason why we come to church every Sunday, the reason why we do what we do for Christ is because one day we want to receive what? The kingdom of God. Amen. And so each day we're working more and more to get closer to what? Our what? Expect it in. Amen. Amen. And we all have a what? Expect it in. in. We don't know the date. We don't know the time. We don't know the hour. But we all have what? And expect it in. in. And we all want to make sure that when Jesus comes back for us, he will find us doing what he has what? Called Call us to do. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. Verse 9. It says, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the what? Spirit. So, if so be that, the spirit of the God does what? Dwell in the Now, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he's not what? Not ahead. Oh. So if I change my mind by letting this mind be in me, what? Christ. That is also in what? Christ, Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. Amen. So if I change my mind, I become what? Christ. More like Christ. That's right. I'm walking as his what? Child. Yeah, because right. it says that. What? If I don't have a carnal mind, but I have a spiritual mind, then I'm what? Here's what? Tell me what it says in verse 9. Mm -hmm. It says what? It says, but you are not controlled by your sinful nature. You are controlled by the Spirit. If you have the Spirit of God living in you, and remember that those who do not have the Spirit of Christ living in them do not belong to him. Right. So we belong to him because right. we have the Spirit of what? Right. And our minds are what changing what mm -hmm. every day, every day. Amen. because you have a battle what every day about every day. something. Amen. Amen. My battle may be different from your battle, mm -hmm. but we all have what mm -hmm. battles. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 
That's why it's so careful when you are bathed in Christ and you first get delivered. Y'all know that feeling. Mm -hmm. That's that feeling you can run a marathon. <laughs> yes. You can cut back with splits. You feel so good, amen, oh, amen, about the word. And we should still have that, amen. Yes. But as we mature, we become less emotional about things and we become uh, more intentional. Is that a good word? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. What, what I cared about turning over seats in the church when I first got saved was absolutely nothing. I'm going to turn them over the kids. But it was just the fact of being new. It was, ooh, that thing was burning on the inside. Like Jeremiah said, just like fire. What? It's still like fire. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So we belong to him. Yes, we do. It says it here. If we don't change our mind, then we don't what? We don't what belong to him. Verse 10 says, and if Christ be in you, the body is what? Dead because of sin. But the spirit is life because of what? Of righteousness. Of, of righteousness. Correct. So when our minds change, we can walk in the spirit of what? Righteousness. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. Amen? Amen. But that is a very important part of your Christian journey. Mm -hmm. We sit in services a lot, all, a lot of times. And I, I've been one of those myself. I've seen some myself. Amen? Mm -hmm. But when I've learned, and I learned over time, that when you sit and listen, and you receive, before long, you'll realize that that word has gotten down in you. Amen? Amen. You'll see changes. Yeah. Okay? If you do not see changes in your Christian walk, during your entire walk, then there's something wrong. <laughs> if I wanted to fight you when I first came to church, yeah, I you. <laughs> and it's six months down the road, two years down the road, and the leader says something that I don't like, or the church member says something I don't like, and I feel that I need to offer you out the door, then hey, I need to go back to the word and check on my mindset. Okay? That's right, man. Because Jesus has a no fighting policy. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> Only he can turn over tables in the church. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good Amen. Yeah, so it's not of God, okay? It's not of God. The word will come, the word will cut. The word it says what? It's powerful, quick. It's sharper than any what? Double edged sword. It's able to divide and asunder down to the what? The very marrow of the what? Bone. That gets down deep. That goes through the tendon, through the muscles, through all that stuff down through the bone, down on the inside. If you ever had a chicken bone, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you know how it's so good and tender, you, you crack it, yeah. Uh -huh. And then there's this little matter that's down in there. Yeah, yeah you didn't ate matter before. Yeah. And it's so good. Amen. Amen. But that's what he's talking about. That's how deep that word gets on the inside. And this is why we as Christians have to be very careful about what we think. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Okay. All right. So it goes on to say in verse 11, but if the spirit of him that raised Jesus up from the dead dwelleth in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall also what? Quicken your mortal bodies by the spirit that what? Dwelleth in you. Amen. So what? It'll quicken your what? Mortal your mortal bodies. He, the spirit that raised Jesus up from the what? Amen. Dead. Amen. So no one's talking foreign. Hey, hallelujah. Come if on. you got the spirit of the Lord, that thing is going to do something on the inside of you. Amen. Praise God. Come and on. it's okay when conviction comes. Right. It's okay when things come. Because you know that if I do this thing, this is only the Lord trying to make me better. Amen. Praise Amen. God. I have to change my what? My Praise the Lord. Got you. Oh, God. <laughs> I had to make a phone call the other day, and this individual don't, don't call me at all. Okay? So I'm thinking in my mind, <laughs> that phone work for what? Okay. Oh, okay. Amen. Okay. If you want to call me, you can call me. Praise God. Mm -hmm. I felt so bad the whole day. I was 
fighting that thing. I had reason in my mind that if you don't call me, I ain't going to call you. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Told me up so bad, I said, Lord, okay. I get it. I get it. Amen. I get it. So I picked up the phone. I called. I said what I needed to say. I hung up and immediately that thing that was had me heavy, mm. it fell off. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Because I knew, I knew spiritually that I wasn't doing the right thing. Mm. But your carnal mind, praise God, your carnal mind makes you want to make sense out of your world. Right. Okay? Yeah, that's right. It wasn't right in no shape or form, y'all. I was going to make it right. <laughs> and if, my, if the Holy Spirit had to convict me, I probably would have still called. But when you have the Spirit of the Lord dwelling on the inside, amen? amen. You have to be obedient to that's what right. the Spirit of the Lord is saying to you and that's trying right. to get you to do. Amen. It's only for your better. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Your mind. So, when the word comes forth in this thing, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you get offended? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Do I feel like I'm being singled out? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But I want to say something to you. Mm -hmm. When the Lord stops talking to you, mm -hmm. you need to be working. Yeah. But as long as he's preaching to you mm -hmm. and you hear the word of God and yeah. that word of God is for you yeah. mm -hmm. and it is about changes in your life mm -hmm. and it is about your mindset. Being, you know, you got to change your mind mm -hmm. to say, hey, Apostle T, he ain't doing that to me. He ain't saying that directly right. to me for right. that. Amen. Amen. Y'all, he's telling you this according to the word of God mm -hmm. so that there might be a change. That's right. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. You have to make it work. You have to be obedient to the word. Amen. 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 On last week, I'm, I'm transparent, so we're going to keep going after this. But I got some being on time, I might be right on time away, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> so when Pastor T was talking about me and not being on time, I said, oh Lord. <laughs> Boom, there it goes. Let's hit you right there. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this morning, I got up at seven something. Yeah. I done prepared myself. I, I would have been here earlier than that, but I tried to go find me a Bible. Mm -hmm. So when Sister Alexa called, I said, man, you got a Bible with big print, because ain't nothing open this time of morning with no Bible in it. She said, you got a Bible with great friends. She said, yes, ma'am. I said, praise God. I'll be in about three minutes. Amen. Because <laughs> I was going to work from a phone. Amen. 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 But vision ain't the way it used to be. Yes, okay? I, mean, I really need one of that large, large friend. But nevertheless, this is working. This is beautiful. Thank you, baby. And so that word, what? Was for me. Okay? Amen. So I slipped this slide to the church. I said, I'm going to get there at least about 10 minutes before. I'm going to be on time. Okay? And so what I'm saying is, I'm saying that to say this. I didn't take a big sure. Yeah. But I knew exactly what the Lord was saying. I knew exactly what I needed to do. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, when we do that, when we change our minds, okay? Because what a carnal mind is the enmity to God. Right. So we don't take the word, we take it personal spiritually, but we don't take it personal to the fact that we get angry. Amen. 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 Now you're going to go through a bunch of emotions, yes, so. okay? Yes, so. But at the end of your emotions, you should not be angry. Amen. Okay? Right. At the end of your emotion, you may not realize how it helped you that day. Amen. But on down the road, you're going to realize, okay, what I was being told is correct. Amen. Amen. I just couldn't see it, what? At that time. Mm -hmm. But I realized I am just like that. Amen? Amen. And God woe is me. And I'm coming. Well, as humble as I know how, y'all know the prayer. Yeah. I'm standing here. What? In front of me. Not my mother. Not my brother. What? Not my sister, but it's what? It's me, Lord. Lord. And I'm standing in the need of what? Prayer. Hallelujah. Okay? Come on. I'm disobedient, Lord. Yeah. But y'all, you got to wait to hear what he says after that now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to listen to nobody. <laughs> but if I knew everything, what? My life would be a whole lot what? <laughs> oh, no. I'm bossy. Come on. Uh, yeah. 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 I'm what? I'm loving it. I want everything I want. See? The old people call it what? Long hat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm all of those what? Things. Right. Praise God. And I'm coming, Lord, because I want difference in my life. Right. Yeah. Amen. 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 
I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a what? Living Live sacrifice. sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God, which is your what? Praise God. So, we wanting the Lord to work on our minds is nothing compared to what? He does for us what? Every day. Mm -hmm. Amen? Our changing is nothing compared to the things that the Lord has done for us on a daily basis and throughout our lives. So, with that being said, he says, what? This is our what? Reasonable what? Sir. That's the least I can do. That's right. Is listen. Amen? Amen. After all you've done for me, Lord, the least I can do is what? Sit in your service and what? Listen. To what the Spirit of the Lord has to what? Say. To the what? Church. Not getting offended by the word, but what? Accepting the word. Because what? I'm going to tell you why. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the what? Renewal of the word. That ye may prove what is good and acceptable and what? The perfect what? Will of God. Amen. So I'm not going to conform to the world things. Like I said, fighting is not allowed in the church. Amen. I don't care what you've seen throughout your growing up. I don't care what you've seen throughout your life. Fighting was never acceptable in the house of the what? The, the Lord. Lord. Why? Because something along the line was not transformed by the renewing of the what? Praise God. But when your mind is renewed, you learn how to do what? Reason together. Yes. Amen. We learn how to what? Talk about it. Amen. We may not agree on everything, but I will not leave this table upset. Yeah. I will not leave this table angry. Yeah. I will not leave this table wanting my way about things. Amen. 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 Because why? The suggestion you gave this time may not be um, appropriate for what's going on in the ministry. Mm -hmm. But down the road, your idea may be just what we what? <laughs> so it's not that it's off the table. We just what? Table it. Till that time what? Comes. It makes you feel like you are hurt. Amen. It makes you feel like you are giving a part. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. Because peace is very important. I say y'all understand that. Yes. And if you're going to serve the Lord with gladness and with the whole heart, you need to have peace. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen? So when you come into a sanctuary, and Lord knows I've been in a lot, but I have great things to say about three ministries. I tell everybody about the church that I go to. Amen? Amen. I tell them about how much love it is. Amen. Because when you go into a place and you're looking for Jesus, you need to look for love. And if you find the love of God where you are, you need to say, Amen. Amen. So if you got any doubts about anything this morning, just let it go. Praise God. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord dwells in this place. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And the Spirit of the Lord is here, and your leaders express that, and it is also poured out to you of the congregation. Amen. Amen. transformed by the renewing of our what? Mind. Yes. When my mind changes, everything changes. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. When I stop looking at people as being a threat, yeah. or they trying to do it, Lord, you're helping me. Yeah. I know I've been hurt in the past. You know, this, this, this church hurt. I know things have gone on in your life. Amen. Mm -hmm. But it's okay, God, because I'm I'm willing to welcome these things now because I understand that all things are going to work for the good. Amen. The Bible says all things work for, what? for the good of those who love the Lord and he that are called according to his purpose. And I know each one of us are called in here this morning to do something. That's right. Amen. Amen. You're called to do something. Okay. I don't know what your something is. Mm -hmm. Why? I'm too busy worried about my son. <laughs> Amen. You worry about your something, you have no business worrying about nobody else. something you let me know. And sometimes my something, your something, will pull out somebody else's what? Something. Amen. Because I give to a what? To edify the what? Not edify ourselves, but edify the what? The church. Praise God. But your mind got to be there. Amen.
let it be renewed today. Praise God. <laughs> Renew it. When Apostle T come out there in a little bit, preach. Oh, now y'all give it the utmost roll. We ready.
That's how a walk is. It's pretty much that way. <laughs> it's pretty much that way. And if the enemy can get us to do things that are not right, then that's what he's going to do. He roams to and fro, like the lion, what? Seeking whom he may what? Devour. Devour. Amen. But if my mind changes, he had no room in my life. Praise the Lord. Now, aren't you glad about changed minds on this day? Yeah. Yeah. 